been waiting for you to get up. I've been gone for a little while while you were sleeping, of course. But, um, yeah. Okay. Now, so don't freak out. I, um, you need to sleep. You had, like, your whole, uh, head wound and everything. And, um, I didn't want to, uh, wake you, you know. We didn't want to, like, alert anything of our, like, whereabouts. Yeah. And so, um, I found this in my, uh, in my purse. Some thread. <laughs> and, I, um, it's white, unfortunately, but it didn't stop me. So, I used my, um, ingenuity and I Do you feel that? Don't walk. Don't worry. I can just break it off. See, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but I used it tied to your wrist and I kept going that way, like walking and uh, looking around, thinking if I could find any clues, you know. <laughs> Sitting time is wasted time. And, uh, we really need to find a way out. That's why we agreed to work together. So, um, I let you sleep, and you're never gonna believe what I discovered. I'm gonna save this for later. Yeah. Who knows when we'll need it again, you know? So, put this in my bag here. time um, again as you're aware we don't want them to hear us so just I know you needed sleep you can see you can trust me so just and listen See if we can find anything good. I was scanning it while you were asleep, and it looks like if I'm not like crazy, which I'm sure I am at this point, but it looks like there is some kind of like um, group that is formed within these walls. because I have been here a long time and you've been asleep and I have done all the work. Good, good, yes. So, Meg, and it looks like, if I'm not mistaken, there are multiple levels throughout this whole, whole mess of a maze. And if we want to get out, we have to, like, navigate our way through the structure. Now, I'm not sure how we do that. It looks like there might be kinds of, like, exits on each of these like floors or levels or something um but I also have something written here in like the margins that says something about like no clipping if you know what that means I mean I've been reading that I think that's how we ended up here in like the first place but I'm not sure <laughs> so um if we can figure out a way to do that, there's ways to get to other levels, but it looks like there are. This work gets a little, a little intense. 
Looks like there's thousands upon thousands upon thousands of thousands of thousands. Thousands of floors. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, but um, on the plus side, and it's um, important that we look on the positive sides in these situations. Meg or Endani Dachi or whatever they're called, it looks like they have a base on level one. And if this is correct, we are on level zero. So, we just have to go one floor over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, it's not that obvious on how we get there, but this is still closer than what I have been, so positives. If we can just get to level one, we can find them and maybe they can help us. It looks like they call us wanderers. Ironic. I can look over that in a minute. Did you hear that? <laughs> it seems as though they are our best hope, but they don't know everything on their little sheet. And level zero does not have that many entities, and yet, keep hearing them everywhere. You hear that, right? <laughs> no matter. Okay, looks like it's gone. So, um, I found some more things while you were sleeping. I found, um, mask. Don't know what we could use it for, but it's here if we need it. So. I mean, if we ever really need to write anything down, we can. It doesn't have anything in it, so unfortunately, like, no clues or anything. But I can write down what we know about level one, and that way we don't have to bring everything with us. Since we don't have any backpacks and just my, um, briefcase. So, level one... Meg, look into no clipping and other floor. Actually, use this to write down your health, too. Um, I'm sorry, I'm really bad with names. What did you say your um, name was again? Right, okay. Uh, in case I forget again, um, do you have like a nickname or something I can call you? Let me think, let me think, let me think. First thing that pops into my head, first thing that pops into my head, Brad. Are you okay with Brad? Good. Okay. So, Brad. No, I know, I know, I know. But just in case I forget, because I will, you look like Brad. Brad was my, um, underling back at my job, and he kept trying to get the promotion above me, but little does he know I'm better than him, better than Brad. So, um, no, I'm not saying I'm better than you. I'm just saying I've been here longer, and I know more about what's going on. And while you were sleeping, I went and found all of this stuff. So you should listen to me. Okay? And, uh, just... Alright. So, Brad, how are you feeling today? Are you doing better? How's the... Gone. Okay. Alright, good, good, alright. And 
Are you feeling like funny? Like you're going to leave this plane of existence? Have you heard the telephone ring? How's the smell of the uh, musty carpet for you? Is it good? Is it a good smell? Just, just checking your mental health. Well, you know, these old levels start to get to you. Me? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. It is a middle. not like I was going through a promotion or anything. I need to get back and beat Brad. No, I'm not. Absolutely fine. <laughs> Why do you ask? No point. Check. I also found... Oh, are you hungry? I know, like, time seems to, like, slow down here, and we just kind of exist in this plane with, like, no food, water, nothing, and we're fine, but I found a can. I'm not sure what's in the can, but I found it, and I thought maybe I could open it, and, uh, we could eat it, if you want to, if you're hungry. I know I haven't had food. what's inside. We can do that in a second because um, so all these patches. So now we have I was going to try to heat it up, but maybe we just try it cold for now. Well, we'll see. I'd rather wait. some spray, some medical tape, some medical cream, and a band-aid. And some tweezers and some other liquid. I'm not sure what it does, but I found it. How? Um, well, one of us is more important than the other, and I thought that um, they could test it. Hmm? Well, that other one being the one who did not find the blueprints and who came here after me. So if you just want to take a little look on the tongue and tell me what it is, I would appreciate it. So that's there. everything I found while you were uh, dozing. I mean, getting your much needed um, rest since you're all in bed. So, um, why don't we, um, fix your, uh, wounds and, uh, talk about our game plan. Okay? Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is antiseptic. Oh yeah, that's some kind of alcohol. Let's just uh, set up here. I think of your old dressing here. Ew, 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 ew. Um, now this might 
mind sting a little. Just uh, close your eyes for me. Okay. I'll save that for later in case we need to do the old switch over. Let me take a quick look at it. How are you feeling? How's your head? Is it okay? Are you feeling like dizzy or lightheaded? Any other symptoms I should know about? Are you seeing any monsters? Hearing anything? No? Okay. Look right here and don't Keep your head and neck and shoulders still for me and follow the light with your eyes, okay? Only your eyes. Here we go. Very good. And it looks like your eyes are dilating everything properly, so that's a good sign. It's a good sign. Let me Do I look like I have gloves? It's gonna be okay. Just stand still. You don't trust me. I thought we had like an agreement and everything. I mean, have you seen anybody else in here? No. Okay. So, I mean, I could leave you alone if you want me to. Okay, that's what I thought. So just, um, just, just stay still and be quick. I'm just gonna tap the screen on, make sure it feels okay. We don't want any infection or anything, especially not in here on this disgusting. I'm just gonna cover you with some medical tape. We don't want it falling off here, do we? Let's do it. Gonna wrap that around just a little bit. How's that feel? Okay. Okay, good. Doesn't hurt. Now, I think, I think this is medicine. <laughs> Don't come after me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. I worked for like a big pharma company. nothing to lose. You're in pain. We're in a big yellow box. You can either be here, die from a monster, or have some delicious pain medication. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna try it? That's what I thought. Open up and say, ah, for me. And just, there you go. A couple drops and just swallow. Just swallow. 
relax the throat. Told you it's pretty shit as pain medication. They should just make me present or whatever this med group. <laughs> Alright. Lastly, I have some beans here for you. So we just open it up. Okay. And these spoons. There you go. And just No, it just looks good as it is. Cold. But this it doesn't taste good. It looks like it tastes good. I'm gonna taste good. It's just have a little taste. Maybe when you're done. Just a little tasty and true strength. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Like I said, we need to get moving. snow clipping works, but kind of gives some instructions on how we could potentially like try, and it talks about no clipping or finding a way by walking just aimlessly to get to a place called the Manila Room, and there we should be able to meet up with people from this group, or we can get to level one where they're stationed, um, but we gotta be careful because if we know if we know clip incorrectly, we can end on something called level negative one. I don't know too much about it other than that we could end up there. So um, we'll know if we get there, if we hear a piano and everything goes black and white. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know, it just isn't about like trying, like letting everything go and trying to like clip through the wall, kind of like how we ended up here. It's like when you're like falling or in an elevator or something like that where you kind of feel weightless and like Nothing exists, and that's how you know clip here. So if we try to do that again, like replicate that, maybe that'll happen. Um, eat, eat your beans, and I'll try here. Hold my hand. Hold my hand. Eat your beans. Hold still. Here we go. Deep breath in. Out. And I think I'm gonna do a little like fall into the wall. Okay. Close your eyes. Stick a spoonful of beans in your mouth. Deep breath in. Out. And through the wall. Ariel, Endless Record, Rose, Kevin Testa, Bob Lee, Edgar, Adam Davies, Mr. Waltz, Ace, Papa Palpatine, Pal McKinney, Diesel, Dungage Bay, The Jinxed Monarch, Roy Harper, Hakeem the Dream, Mac the Knight, Vaporwave Mystic, Bam 1313, Alex, Penix, Sam Hipwell, Logan Orr, Miguel Martinez, Fire Drake 0470, Sarpanel Dave Pannon, Unleashed Lewis 22, Cobalt Enigma, Andrea 906, Gary McWyack, Athleon 001, Connor, Tom, Dennis, Livid Canadian, Reviewers, Stefan Starvotov, Makami, Luke 1259, Mike B. Spencer Reed, Angry Cripple, Andrew Ball, CC, Mr. Adelon, Thomas Flanagan, Dylan Long, Nightmare 262, SDR Knight, Biznatch 112, Craig, Grenindros, Mr. Ox 1998, Mike Berry, Taylor Hansen, Rocky, Mr. McNugget, Cedric, Lewis, David McDowell, Mookie, David D. Edwards, Jeremy Fitzpatrick, Paramore is the best, Big Al, Just Woodsy, Spy Cam, Wolf's Rain 17, Sam Small, Tom J, Justin Parmentier, Ryan Wareham, Grey Warden, This Charming Mothman, Neon Gun, ASMR, Zio Key, Clyde Fabian, Ontarian, ASMR, Falconian, Kyle Cagante, Jaffa, 8 Penguin 909, Dragonblade, Ivor, Sleepy Sloth, Mr. Mayhem, Chris, MC83, Bartlehawk764, Mermo0921, Mike S, ASMR Me Sings, Sensei John Riviera, 
Apollo, literally my husband, Mark M, James Pudic, Jacob RN, Dude, Johnny D. Renzo, Jeremy Espanol, Justin, Scourge77, John TC1, Brian, Patrick Stewart, Nick Ash.